What are we doing, Sasha? What are we doing? Where are we going? Puppy day. Happy day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think, Paco? Ready for the training to begin? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, she does. Mm -hmm. Definitely. All the puppies love it. Yeah. We had to take it away from her. It would have been shreds. <laughs> so I was like, okay, you've all touched it. You've all rolled around it. Yeah. <laughs> time, to, <laughs> time to let it stay in one piece. Or it won't be. Yeah. So be careful with the tag ends on that. Sasha. Sasha. What's up everybody, Len here with 715 Outdoors. It is Sunday, I think it's like the 11th of December. And uh, I am taking Sasha out to do a little bit of grouse hunting in the north woods of Wisconsin here. Um, so Sasha is seven months old. She has what I would call a, a great prey drive, natural ability. Um, I have been working with her since we got her in June on obedience and on uh, working with, for example, I bought a dummy from Fleet Farm that had a taxidermied pheasant, um, uh, like the hide and feathers and everything on it. And she, that's the only thing she ever wants. <laughs> so, um, so we're going for grouse today because the pheasant population around here is not what you would call great. And from my observation the last couple of years bow hunting, I would say that the grouse are probably in an upward swing in population. And we see a fair amount of them bow hunting. So Sasha has only been out hunting once before. Alright, so we're at our spot and we're just gonna walk trails. I'm also on a power line here. Power lines have historically been pretty good for me. I just got my side by side 12 gauge here. And with grouse, you don't generally get more than two shots. This is the kind of area I like to work is like these these dark slashings in here where it's been logged before. And we have some open forest over here. A big ditch down here to the right that looks like it's been full of water. Now it's full of ice. Where's it going, Sasha? Where's the birdies? Find the birdies. Find the birdies. So we just want her to cover in front of us, back and forth like this, nose to the ground, being the best of girls. We're just letting her work this timber. And I just want her to work this timber here a little bit. And all the while I'm keeping my eyes open and my ears open, just seeing if I can hear a grouse flush or see if I can see one sitting on the ground. As you can see, this would be pretty tough shooting in here, pretty thick. So of course, ideally, You'd kind of like to catch one ground sitting, sitting on the ground that we can ground swat. And I don't think with a grouse that is unsporting at all, by the way. Let's go get them. Get your birdies. Hunt them up. Hunt them up, honey. Now, hop, hop, Sasha, hop. When I'm, uh, when I'm grouse hunting, I am well aware 
that deer share the same habitat as grouse and even pheasants and ducks as evidenced right there by that nice buck rub. So I don't want her to jump a deer. So I am deliberately being pretty vocal and encouraging her, talking to her as we go through the woods so that if there are deer in the area, I want them spooked out of here. I want the deer out of our lives. Let's go, find a birdies. Good girl, good girl. Yes, let's find a birdies. Let's find them birds. Kind of swampy through here. This might be really good. Might find some walking in through these tag alders. Anytime that they have that you have a transition in cover, goes from open woods to tag alders, tag alders to marsh. Those transitional places can be good, can be productive for finding the mighty rough grouse. Especially, you know, we want to look under these pines that we're coming up to. You always want to keep an eye under pines. Yeah, Sash, where'd they go? Let's go, snow dog. Come on, honey. Let's go, let's go get him. We're just going through this tall grass. We're on a marsh edge here. We're just gonna give it a try. Where the birds, Sasha? Where'd they go? We're just doing some due diligence here. Where'd they go, Sash? Hunt them up, find that birdie. Find that birdie. What I'm seeing out of her that's so encouraging is just how she's really using her nose. And the wind and the ground, not that there's really much wind today, but, you know, like I said, she really doesn't know for sure what she's looking for, right? She's never had a live bird flush in front of her. Oh, there goes one. Oh, there went. There went. Here, Sasha. Hop, hop. We put one up. We put one up. Let's go. Let's go, Sasha. Let's see if we can get that birdie. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He went right down this lane here and grouse will often give you a second opportunity. And that's what we're hoping for here. Just a second opportunity. Right, Sasha? Right, Sasha? Let's go. Let's go. Let's find a birdie. Find the birdie. He came somewhere right onto this hill. Where'd he go, Sash? Where'd he go? He came right out of there, straight through here. We're just gonna see if we can get another swing at the pinata here. Where'd he go, Sasha? Where'd he go? I probably should have taken a shot. It would have been a long shot. But you never know. Hup, hup. Started to run like she was chasing something there. Hup, 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 hup. Sasha, here, here, here. She's getting a little too far ahead for my liking. Sasha! Girl. Hip, hip, hip. That's why we have the whistle. It seems to just reset her. Come here. All right, well, we're gonna count that as a, as a win, but a loss, because we didn't get a second flush on that bird. 
which is really a shame. All right, we're back out to the field where we flushed that one. It's not really a field, you know. It's a little opening in the woods and the marsh here. We're just gonna work this. I'm gonna let her work this area. Come on, Tash, hunt them up. Kind of trying to get a sense if she can find where that bird was sitting, where it flushed from, which should be, I don't know what she's doing here. It's acting more like there's a mouse under the snow or something. And she got a scent of where a bird might have been. But she flushed out of here. Come on, Sash. Let's work this. Come on. Let's see if I can get an idea of any tracks in here where might have left some scent. And there's where she flushed from, actually. Sasha, hup, hup. Here, come here. Come here, girl. Here, get in here. Get in here. Here. Come on. Work it. Get in there. Oh, see? Yep, she knows there was a birdie there. That's right where he flushed from, right there. Yep. <laughs> she wants to eat that snow. Yeah, that's where that birdie came from. That's where he was, Sasha. Okay, let's go, honey. Let's go. We're coming to another kind of spot that I really like. See all these fallen trees in here, which is great. But we're coming up to a little downhill with a small tag alder marsh. So hup, 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 come here. I don't want her getting too far ahead of me here. And this is, this is really where the griff shines compared to my German short hair. German short hair would not hunt this close. He was just too fast. Great for pheasants, but beautifully. Well, with the time of day it's getting to be, we are gonna make our way back. I think we'll go up and down the power lines and then we'll call it a day so far. We've gotten one bird up. Um, unfortunately, she didn't get an eye on it, but she did get to sniff out where uh, he was nestled in trying to hide from us. So. That's a positive, got the fresh scent in her. We have grouse tracks right here. Come on, Sasha, come on. Come on, Sasha. Sasha, come. Come on. Come on, let's see if we can get a payoff here. We got tracks coming right up through here. All right, Sasha. But there are two grouse that have crossed right here. Come on, Sash, come here. Come here. Get your nose to the ground, honey. Good girl. Good girl, let's try to find this party. Come on, these tracks are doing nothing for her. So I don't think they're terribly strong. Sasha, Sasha, here, here, get your nose on those. What is that? That's a birdie, that's a birdie. That's a birdie, Sasha, yeah, that's a birdie. That's a birdie, Sasha, let's get him. Let's get that birdie. Let's go. Where's the birdie? Where's the birdie, Sasha? Come on, hunt him up. Hunt him up. Boy, this is really good cover in here. Let's work it, Sasha. Let's work it. Let's work it. We're kind of right on an edge here. Tag alders and this kind of grass in here. Just the kind of place a grouse might like to hide. So we're just gonna work it. We're gonna let Sasha work. That's the important thing. Look at her go. Look at what a good girl you're being, yes. Come on, don't follow me. Get out there. Get in there. Go, let's go. Come on, let's go. Get in there. She's pretty tired. I can tell she's, she's tuckering out, I think, after we work this little bit of grass here. <laughs> Have you had enough? I think you're laying down on the job, honey. 
I think you're laying down on the job. I'm sorry to give you the view up my snoot here, <laughs> but uh, we're done. We're going to be walking back to the car now. Sasha certainly has had enough, and uh, I suspect she will find a well-deserved place on the couch for the rest of the night, and uh, I might do the same. So she did great. I think that, uh, you know, we saw a bird. She didn't see it, unfortunately. But, um, you know, this is, this is kind of how hunting goes, right? You, how many times has it happened to you? Because for me, it's like a million where you grab your bow and you walk out to the stand. Hey, Sasha. Oh, she found water. Come on, get out of there. <laughs> um, you walk out to your stand and you flush grouse before daylight and it about gives you a heart attack. <laughs> I think I've done that no less than a million times. And then, hey, that, that'll be a good grouse spot. You know, you make the mental note and you go out and no birds. Bring your bird dog and your shotgun, leave the bow at home, no birds. But, you know, that's why they call it hunting, not killing. So we had a great time. I'm really happy with what I'm seeing in Sasha and the way she covers ground, how she keeps her nose to the ground. It's just a matter of time. So we'll make it happen. So we got about a month left in the season. So we'll keep working it and see how it goes. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate everyone. If you're not subscribed, I hope today is the day that I earn your subscription. And uh, if you hit the like button, that'll really help out a lot. So we'll see you guys on the next one.